So Matt Walsh posts, I have as low an opinion of Biden as you could possibly have. And yet this is so outrageously evil. Remember, the fact that these two holidays occur on the same day is outrageously evil that I had to check that it was real. Our Catholic president has chosen the highest holiday on the Christian calendar to celebrate transgenderism. This man is a demon, which he probably believes is real or has to pretend he believes it's real. They believe in, they believe in ghosts, ghosts and ghouls and spooks and stuff like that. They're very weird people. But anyway, the thing about Matt Walsh is that he is clearly not as comfortable pretending to believe things that he know aren't true as the other right wing grifters. So he felt forced to provide some weaselly cover for himself about what the a fundamental BS nature of this is. So he posted, the excuse will be that Transgender Day of Visibility is a fixed holiday that always falls on March 31st. The problem with that excuse is that the president does not need to issue any proclamation recognizing it. And no president had recognized it until Biden two years ago, he may not decide the date for this fake BS holiday, but he does decide to officially proclaim it. So as he makes clear there, he knows that it, it, it is a fixed holiday that always takes place on March 31st every year. It's just that's what it is. And by total random chance, Easter took place on the same day. That's just gonna happen every few years naturally. It has nothing to do with anything. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. And I would say that if you are going to cosplay as a religious person, Matt Walsh obviously doesn't believe any of this. But if you're going to, maybe reserve like evil and abhorrent for like, you know, people are dying, they're getting gunned down, they're being poisoned by major corporations. This is about a politician who you supposedly don't care about his opinion on anything, recognizing a holiday that has nothing to do with you. Is that really like the prime source of evil in the world these days? Civilians are being blown to bits in Gaza. Like I'm just saying, if you're a Christian, there's other stuff that theoretically you can talk about. So anyway, Francesca, it's all BS. They're all pretending to be triggered. I don't think any of them care about Easter or about Transgender Day of Visibility. But what do you make of this? I mean, I do think though that Easter is a wonderful time to remember transitioning. I mean, if you believe in Jesus's resurrection, what greater transition was that? He was dead, now he's alive, it's zombie God. Like that's the biggest transition ever. I think these two holidays should be always celebrated together. And if you're actually gonna go after one of them, don't you think it's, Easter that changes from year to year, like some sort of shape shifter <laughs> that is responsible versus trans visibility has been around and it's always on the 31st. Easter moves, Easter changes. And then lastly, I love, and this is the way that so called Christians constantly play this in the media, is pretending like Easter is at all like, you know, uh, uh, adherent and the ways that we celebrate Easter, which is through a seven foot bunny who gives mm. out eggs and candy and like little chickadees and little like gross little Beep. peeps. Like that all of that is somehow more pious and religious and moral than just actually celebrating if you believe in the resurrection of Christ. And like, you know, th just that. You could just yeah. do that. But, but in the same thing with Christmas, it's like, don't you think that capitalism has screwed Christmas? harder than anyone saying happy holidays has ever done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're worshiping Cadbury, not Jesus at this point. Exactly. And just, so look, can you imagine like if you actually believed in any of that stuff, if you believed in the Bible, if you believed in Jesus as these grifters pretend to, but clearly don't, can you imagine taking one second out of your day, a day which should be part of your lifelong quest to stop the scourge of like, child starvation or whatever to comment on the fact that Biden recognized a holiday that exists. Mm -hmm. And I will remind you, this is all, this is the facts don't care about your feelings, people. The fact is Trans Day of Visibility is the 31st, it just is. Your feelings about that sure seem to have trumped those facts though, didn't they? For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.